All right, I'm gonna put the short bus away. Give her a little jiggle on the key. Watch the signal, it'll start right up. Almost made me a liar. All right, here we go. Granny gear. We got like 10 feet to go. The wheels on the bus go round and round. Round and round. Watch me run shit over because I'm singing like an idiot. Round and round. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Three. You crazy mother. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Burn Down. So, in today's episode, I think we're gonna do like a little rough kind of how to and just kind of show you guys a little rust repair or at least get into it. We'll see how far we get because it is the afternoon and it's already getting a little bit late. I basically worked for the day on this guy. I keep calling this the Blurple Monster. It's a 64 SS uh, Super Sport. We're doing a little bit of work too. And then, um, other than working on the truck that I'm gonna pull out here in a minute and start kind of playing with, and we'll just dig into it, I think it's gonna be a big, <laughs> it's gonna turn to a cloud of dust is what's gonna happen <laughs> around the windshield. Anyway, um, besides that, I wanted to share with you guys a helmet that I'm gonna be working on. Um, it's not gonna drop until it's finished and the owner actually sees it, but it's exciting because it's one of the bigger helmets I've done. Uh, considering you know the, the amount of time I've been painting and whatnot I finally got a pro helmet in well uh, thank you very much for the opportunity too, man but um I want to share that with you guys and show you guys because I honestly have done so much cool stuff and been able to get as far as I have and I'm still in a home garage and I'm still just an average Joe but I like to show you guys these things to let you know that it's possible whatever you want to do you just make it happen and I'm making it happen literally and it's to the point where like I have to share this with you guys and share it with somebody because once it's done, nobody believe me. Nobody go, oh, you didn't paint that helmet. Oh, you didn't do that car. Oh, you didn't. You don't know that guy. And it's like, no, all these things really exist, and everybody's just normal people. And you communicate. Life goes around. You make friends. Life's good. So, let's go take a look at the helmet that I'm excited about real quick, and then uh, we will pull the things like the size of a small school bus. I keep calling it the short bus. We're gonna pull the short bus out and um, get down on that for a little bit, but. Let's go look at that helmet. I'm excited to show you guys. Steven, this is Steven. Steven, Steven. He's like a giant orange tabby, okay. Anyway, that was Steven. I always like to say mean things to him because he deserves it most of the time. Ta-da, bam. So this helmet belongs to this dude. Whoop. So it's the Earthshaker. Monster truck. This is actually my son's uh, monster truck. So this is actually the son of Shane England, which drives a big Kahuna. And if you guys are familiar with my work, you've seen the surfboards I did. And um, this is his boy, Tristan's helmet. So here's his little Instagram. He sent this to me, and it's actually a wrap. So it looks phenomenal. The guy did a great job. It's time to change it up for next season. He asked me if I'd be interested in painting, and I said you need to send that thing out. So uh, first thing will be to take the wrap off disassemble everything and then we're still working on the design phase uh, for it and I have some stuff that I've been putting together but ultimately next season when you guys see this um, I'll put a video up but not until he sees it and it's done he's gonna be rocking a helmet painted by yours truly so I'm very excited and I pretty much get car blanche I did say that I'd run the design past him because I'm like I just want you to be excited about it but he's pretty much like eh, you got a skill set have at it so thank you very much man for trusting in me and you know that I'm gonna do the best job that I can. So if you hate it, just don't tell me because it'll actually feel bad. So, all right, let's go pull the short bus. Well, folks, time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to my baby. <laughs> <Give it to laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah. All right, well here she is, the new uh, little rust repair patch that we're gonna mess with a little bit. Uh, dude put a sticker over the hole. So we're gonna open it up. I've got a tool over here I'll show you guys that is phenomenal for this type of thing. Basically digging out Bondo, and we're gonna just pray that it just doesn't go all the way. If it goes like, if it starts getting way down the thing, I'm gonna have to figure out what we're gonna do. So anyway, let me show you this tool that we're gonna use. Phenomenal. And then we're gonna uh, dig this thing out and see how it goes. So I actually bought this thing specifically because I knew this truck was coming. 
And this is a clean strip wheel. They didn't have the purple ones. I typically use, typically use the purple. This one's a little softer. Here's a, an old purple one. Um, this is the tool that we're gonna be using as well. But um, this one's a little softer. It'll go away a little faster. These are uh, a little bit better. These are the ones, these are my go-to. And they start out life that big. And then I take them all the way down to here because these things are like gold. But this will essentially chew through all your paint, filler, all that stuff in no time flat. The only downside is they are soft. If you hit an edge, it just shatters in a bunch of pieces and then you're sad because they're like $12 a piece or something. But um, they should last anywhere on the range. Like if you're really getting after, you're doing a good job, maybe an hour or so, depending on really, I don't know, I guess you could make it last more if you're not leaning on it, if you're leaning on it hard. Um, yeah, it's crap. But anyway, check this out, it's Arlock. Twist this, that comes out, this guy goes in, bam, ready to rock and roll. So let's go check this bad boy out and go murder the Bondo that's in the top of this thing. All right, so we got our step stool. Glasses are a must with these things because they do come apart and uh, you only get one set of eyes. I've had way too many things hit me in the eye. I've been to the hospital to have metal dug out and at least once a month or so, I have to dig metal out myself. So I don't play around, I try not to. But anyway, let's take the sticker off and then you can see the rust hole and then there's some other uh, goodness. And let's all keep our fingers crossed that Dane didn't really just get a can of worms and this thing needs to be a hard top or a convertible instead of a, uh, no other be a roadster. Cause this thing shouldn't be a roadster that uh, there's some metal there to work with. Come on, come on car, don't fail me now. All right. Moment of truth. Dun, da, da, da. That's a pretty good sticker, man. There it is. Oh. But the problem is, not that hole. It's This is all mud, and then it cruises back. So we're just going to kind of dig it. This is shiny. Um, No, that's sticker material. OK, so that's not shiny. So we're just going to put our tool in here and start digging this out. and. Uh, Keep your fingers crossed because I'm probably uh, getting opening a can of worms. That's what we always do when we do metal work and we dig. You look for problems on cars, you find them. Anyway, let's find some problems. Look at that too. Needs a CB on this bad boy. All the roof looks good. I'd hate to have to paint this thing. If you do some sick patterns, dude, that thing needs to be all glitter. That'd be bad. Big old flake on that. Anyway, enough daydreaming. Let's start uh, making things go away. All right, here we go. Bye bye. Bondo. She's thick, boys. <laughs> this is not a record for the thick, thickest Bondo I've seen, but that's pretty good. But hey, we got shiny, that's good. So uh, yeah, this whole corner, I think this corner is supposed to be like back here, but as long as it's all shiny, that would be killer. So fingers. Still crossed, because just because one spot shiny doesn't mean the rest is junk, right? Right. Get a mask. It's not ending. So we got some booger welds. This is a good sign. This is the hard shape to make. This is pretty much a flat strap for the most part. That's easy, which is good. It looks like we got some booger welds, um, which I don't really care about, but this being shiny is very cool. And then we'll just dig it out and we'll see how bad we are here. So obviously we're cruising from here, going around. We'll see if any of this is salvageable. Then we got the little turn and then um, we'll kind of cruise along and see how we go. But yeah, we'll do this one. I don't even know if he wanted me to do that one, but let me get through this and we'll see if we can open it up and then we'll go from there. All right, so here is the aftermath, which may look terrible to a bunch of you guys, but for my money, we're not that bad. Cause this, like I said, this radius is a compound curve. It's hard to make that. So if this was up into here, which obviously most likely the water comes down and sits here, uh, since it's not up here, we're good. These booger welds don't really scare me. And the nice thing back here 
nobody messed with it. So I don't even have to really get up that high. Like we could just cut around that and then I'll just dig this out. This is just the, the drip rail seam or sealer. Uh, we can dig that out so I have a place to weld it and then we can just fill it back in. I've got seam sealer over there. So this is fairly simple. And then this is where the, most of the work is gonna be on this radius and then here. But um, yeah, not too bad, not too bad. So we'll keep digging this out, I'll clean it up. We'll show you guys. All right, well, I had a buddy stop by and um, he's actually interested in this little Nova that's sitting in the garage that I'm doing some work to. So we got to talking, he's never seen my house and we're good friends. He's actually the guy that got me the smoking deal on my wife's Camaro. Um, so you gotta show people like that hospitality and like I said, he's my good buddy. So chewed up some daylight, not the end of the world. We're gonna pick it right back up and I'll keep covering that and we'll show you when we get right back on this. But if you like this, if you're interested to see how this thing turns out uh, and see where this thing's going, remember to follow along, like, subscribe, share with your friends, show your dog and cat cat crazy cat video people i don't know anybody somebody let's grow this thing i'm out <laughs>